Volvo has offered more details on its Polestar electric vehicle sub-brand's local arrival this year, revealing the Polestar 2 will launch as its first Australian model in November. The company says it will offer direct-to-consumer online sales presumably with fixed prices supported by physical stores it refers to as Polestar Spaces, where customers can see vehicles in person, conduct test drives, and speak with staff. Tesla employs a similar business model. Managing director Samantha Johnson made the announcement in Sydney at the launch of a global partnership with Semi-Permanent and High Snobidey. Polestar sees considerable potential in the Australian market, which is why it will be one of the first markets to launch as part of the company's Asia-Pacific expansion, Ms Johnson said. However despite the Polestar 2's arrival being less than six months away, specific details of the brand's Australian operations remain scarce. It's not yet known how many spaces will be created nor where they will be, and it's unclear how involved existing Volvo dealerships will be with Polestar in the long term, at least in regards to selling and delivering vehicles. In a statement earlier this year, the brand said the current Volvo dealer network may assist in the establishment of the brand, as well as with the service and maintenance of Polestar vehicles. Pricing for the Polestar 2 is also yet to be revealed. It is something of a Tesla Model 3 rival, and in some overseas markets is similarly priced. In Australia the Model 3 costs from $68,425 $96,883 plus on roads. The Polestar 2 has a 470 km range and a pair of electric motors, producing a total of 300 kW and 660 Nm, good for a 4.7 second 0 to 100 km per hour time. All Polestar vehicles will be made in China, the homeland of Volvo's parent company, Geely, which bought the Swedish brand in 2010. The Polestar name originated in the 1990s in the Swedish Touring Car Championship, before partnering with Volvo to create modified versions of its cars. Volvo bought the company in 2015 and used the name for its performance models, but pivoted in 2017 when it announced Polestar would become a standalone, EV-only brand.